EJ Pro is loaded with so many amazing features and integrations. The downside is for a lot of these great features, you need to have the Pro subscription. Now the first feature, which I think is the most important that you need the paid version for, is the ability to use MIDI devices like controllers. Now, DJ Pro is one of the best apps for DJing with just the iPad, and you can DJ great with just the iPad, but eventually you're going to want the touch and feel of using professional MIDI control controllers, and there are so many to choose from, especially for the iPad, ranging from really small ones like the Hercules Control Mix all the way up to $1,000 plus large professional controllers. So that's a big question I get asked in the comments. Can I use a controller with the free version? And the answer is no. You have to pay the the subscription in order to use MIDI devices. Now, if you plan on just DJing with the iPad, which is great and you can do, you're probably going to want to use your headphones for pre-queuing. And it's really easy to do. You just have to adjust some settings and have one of these headphone splitters and you can DJ, use your headphones for pre-queuing while you're just DJing on the iPad. The only thing is that also requires you to have the paid version. So there's really no way around it. If you're going to do gigs and you want to really get into DJing, probably going to need the pro version. Next is going to be Neuromix. Most DJ softwares now have stem separating capabilities and Neuromix is DJ Pro's stem separating feature. Now this I believe is one of the best stem separators and it works really well. And now with the title DJ extension, you can now use Neuromix with millions of songs from Tidal, which I think is really cool. But in order to use this feature, you're going to need the paid version. Next is you get a huge selection of samples and loops. This app has an amazing looper, which is almost like having a built-in beat making software within the same app. So if you want to get unlimited access to all of these great sample and loop packs, then you're going to need the paid version. Also with the view modes, so DJ Pro was able to fit so many great features by separating the app into different view modes. And with the paid version, we get we get four deck mode, so you could DJ with up to four decks, which some people may think that they're not going to use, but it's great to use these extra decks for scratch samples, acapellas, and stuff like that, or backup songs. So it's really cool to have the access to four decks. Next is single deck mode. This is for organizing your tracks i don't really use it that much but a lot of people like to organize their tracks in one deck mode so that is another feature another one is auto mix this app has an ai an ai powered auto mix feature which is truly amazing and you can choose where to start and stop these auto mixing you could use it for when people are eating dinner or if you have to take a break or something so i think auto mix is a great feature and you're gonna need the paid version for it and then the last thing I want to talk about is video mixing. You're going to need the paid version to use one of DJ Pro's best features, which is video mixing. There is a really cool way to mix visualizers. They have a bunch of different visualizer packs, but you could also DJ with music videos, which I think is really, really awesome. And Tidal has millions of music videos you can load up like that. And it's really easy to connect your iPad into a TV or a projector in order to do video mixing. And if you guys want to learn more about video mixing, check out this video over here. Thank you.